Hello everybody, Jonathan Reeves here with another Enscape for Vectorworks video. Now again, we're going to just carry on looking at another project in uh, Vectorworks here that I've been recently working on, um, just submitted for planning. Um, it's a really interesting project, this one for an eco home. Let me just turn on the trees and you'll get a bit of better idea of the site. So basically it's a plot of land um, which is currently kind of just really a field at the moment and the idea is to kind of try and make the house invisible in a way um, just so you know so it's really kind of like invisible from all angles. So we're really really pleased with the design and I've actually done some really really nice renderings and stuff in fact it's already but I'm keen to have a look at how this will uh, look in Enscape. So let's have a look at how this can work. This is the first time I've actually done this so I'm quite excited to see. So I'm going to go to my Enscape palette here. I'm going to go to Enscape Renderer and to begin with I think I'm just going to turn the trees off for a second. Literally with one click, click Start Enscape. Um, when you do start Enscape, don't forget to have a look at the kind of uh, little tips and hints that you get here. And these are really nice, great way to learn. I like that idea that you can just kind of learn a little snippet of something new each time. So here we are in our project already in Enscape. And uh, we'll just let that load in. And you can see it's kind of moving a bit slowly at the moment. So it's kind of just pan around a bit more. And already we've got a kind of nice little render in Enscape as well. Um, obviously no context at the moment in terms of trees and so on, but let's kind of like just have a little play and see how this is looking. So what you're going to notice is when you go down a bit further to eye level, and if I hold shift down it's going to navigate a bit faster, um, what happens is the vector it's grass actually gets translated into Enscape grass. You can see it's kind of nice quality and it sort of just translates straight through. So already kind of getting a nice impression of the beginning of the building, let's just pan back a little bit perhaps. And let's do our shift and right click just to kind of scroll through the times of the day. You can see the sky moving around. And that's really, really nice in that you can kind of vary the different times. I've actually set this model up so that the heliodon is actually true north facing. So you can actually scroll through and get the different times of the day and get you know, a bit of an impression on how that light might fall into the design. Um, unfortunately, the site is a little bit north facing, so you don't get the site till sort of either early in the morning or kind of late at night. But you'll see some of the tips and tricks in the design on the inside, um, what we've done to, you know, make that a bit nicer with these lovely skylights. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go and take a look inside the Enscape model and then perhaps we'll go back to Vectorworks and do um, a few more changes. Okay, so here we are back in Vectorworks and I want to show you um, a little bit more on the kind of outside of the model before we get inside. Um, at the moment you can see I've got a Vectorworks layer here called Trees. I just want to sort of see in Enscape how that's going to translate through. I'm just going to turn these on. Um, these are actually VB trees. Um, these are available from the uh, little light bulb, the VB tree tool. And there's a whole range of different VB trees and they're quite nice, they're quite accurate um, in Vectorworks. They're you know, not photorealistic as such, but they're quite fast to respond. And you can see they actually translate into pretty decent trees um, in Enscape. They don't move around or blow in the wind or anything, but you know, in terms of being able to kind of look at the design, um, so one of the reasons we, we did this design was to actually kind of try to show um, that really from the, the, from the road, the actual design really is barely visible. Um, so I've done that save here, you can see without the trees, let's just turn the trees on and then we can access the view just to let it take a second or two. You see a little wheel spinning here just while it to kind of sends that information across to Enscape. It takes a little bit longer if the model is quite chunky. Um, so let's have a look at another view here. Let's go a rear high, see what that one's like. I think this is more of an aerial type view. And again, probably because I've done my save view, I can look at it without the trees. Let's turn those trees on. The aim of this really is to demonstrate you actually don't see that much of the property um, when the trees are on. So really, really good for doing sort of quick sort of visual studies. Just let that update and that's nice. Okay, good. So let's go full screen onto Enscape for a while um, and do a little bit more work here. Um, so I'm interested to see if these Vectorworks trees actually sort of slow it down at all. Um, and let's have a little look. Yeah, they don't seem too bad so far. So if I hold shift down, I can go a bit faster. Now you can see we've actually fixed the problem with our internal floor just by raising that model up ever so slightly. So that's definitely one little tip I would give you. Um, if you've got you know, grass in the model, just be aware that if you have like completely flush threshold, you might end up having grass showing through into the Enscape model. Let's go and just navigate through into this space here. 
So this is the kitchen and div dining living room area. And look at the quality that I'm getting in Enscape right out of the box without really doing any lighting or materials or anything at all. Um, so it is extremely nice in terms of the rendering quality. Um, I really like the materials and the way the lighting works. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to navigate back into Vectorworks using my walkthrough tools. And because we're still synchronized, um, the Enscape's model is going to just kind of work in real time. And I'm just going to kind of get myself into that space again. I kind of wish I'd set up a save view in there before. I suppose I could put a camera in there, but let's just go ahead and just kind of take the view down a little bit. What do you think of the rendering quality of Enscape compared to Vectorworks? Really nice, you know, really, really realistic sort of ray traced rendering essentially in real time. So I think that's one of the lovely aspects um, and particularly works well when you're on things like second monitors as well. Okay, great. Um, you can see I didn't really model the sink that well, but it doesn't really matter for the purposes of this model. What I'm keen to show you is a little bit more work on the asset library. So when I go to the Enscape asset library, and you can see this will take a second or two to load in, depending on your internet connection. Um, you can actually download the library, so it's actually offline now as well, which I think I've done. Um, so I'm going to go through and go to, let's go to maybe accessories. Uh, like kitchen, it's always a good one. And I just really was showing you how easy this is. So basically we just click onto a model and then because in Vectorworks we have our automatic plane um, option here enabled, you can see immediately as I place things, it's gonna place on top of that surface. And that'll take just a second or two to jump into Enscape there. So this is how simple it is. Um, so if I just click down here, I've still got the asset library here. Let's just go and add a few more things and just double click if you just want to drop them in. You can see it's pretty rapid. It'd be nice actually if the, the library stayed open. Maybe there's a way of doing that that I haven't quite discovered yet. Let's get that coffee pot there. What you're going to find with the Enscape assets is um, they're extremely high quality. Um, so, you know, even though they're very low proxy models in Vectorworks, which sort of keeps the file size nice and small, you know, when you drop them in, just watch in Enscape, watch the quality here appear. And you see that, that really, you know, all the reflections and the kind of quality of the ray tracing there it takes a second or two to catch up. But that's that's fair enough because it's doing a lot of beautiful calculations. And once it's refined itself, it's super high quality. So I really like this aspect. Um, let's just add a few more props in here. Oh, what else should we go for? Yeah, I think we need a little coffee machine. Pot of coffee there. Drop that in. That's cool. You can see it's quite rapid. Um, let's keep working. Let's get a couple of mugs. Let's select that mug. And let's just put place a few of those. So we'll double click just to drop them in. And you can see it's pretty rapid once you kind of get going. And um, the good thing is actually you can also duplicate these directly in Vectorworks as well. Okay, good. So let's just go ahead and just save our Vectorworks model. We've done a bit of work now. Um, and you'll notice that all of these Enscape assets are basically just plug-in objects here. So you can manage those in your resource manager and you can kind of bring them in. Now what I really want to show you was um, let's just kind of click over to the Enscape window, have a quick look at that view and refine it a bit more and then we'll, we'll do a quick render and see where we can get to. And I'm going to kind of scroll through the times till I get that. I think probably going to go for the early morning at the time when our sun actually kind of makes it into the dwelling. Yeah that's kind of nice. I quite like that. That's quite a nice view. I could do with a bit more light in the building, but I haven't actually added any lights at all. Um, so that's something that I can kind of work on in Vectorworks a bit later. Let's go for something a bit more, a bit lighter like this. Okay, so I'm, I like the look of that view. All I need to do then to render that out is just minimize Enscape again. And over in Vectorworks, let's go for visual settings just to check our settings before we do the export. Um, I'm going to go to capture and I'm going to render in ultra HD, which is a nice little format. You can render in, you know, any image size you want, but that's fine. And of course, let's just click on our default folder just to kind of set that to the right place. Um, at the moment, I'm actually going to be working in this project here. Let's create a new folder. You see, I've been doing some twin motion renders. Now we're having a play with Enscape 2.9. So let's make an Enscape 2.9 folder and select that. Good. Okay, that's good. So we're all set up. Not really going to do anything else. Um, I could adjust things like the uh, auto contrast and those kind of things. Actually, it's just quite nice to have that on perhaps. Let's go for it. Let's just basically minimize that one. Go for, here we go, take screenshot. And what's nice is when you get to take the screenshot, just minimize that library. 
Oh, I'll just move that out of the way. You can basically tweak the view a tiny bit here. And that's quite nice before you click OK. Now, one of the real beauties of Enscape is obviously you're getting a real-time ray traced preview as you're working. Amazing. You know, I don't know how this is done, but uh, the technology behind this is pretty incredible. And if you've got a good graphics card, um, especially one that supports RTX uh, ray tracing on a PC, you're going to get a really nice render at the box. Okay, so here we are back in our uh, Vectorwitz model, which is the actual sort of source design model. Now, this is the model that I can actually edit and change things in. Um, so this is referenced into my actual site model. So I just want to show you a couple of tips here. I'm going to go to an Enscape renderer. Um, and let's basically just enable that. I've actually got Enscape open in the background here. I'll just minimize my recording software. And let's have a look. Okay, so you can see the two um, views are now synchronized. And that's quite nice. You've now got really nice sort of uh, isometric views in Enscape. So I like the look of that view. Let's kind of just move out a little bit. And let's just sort of hold spacebar and sort of middle button to frame that one up. Go out a tiny bit. Just be careful with the mouse. It can be very sensitive. That's actually a really nicely rendered view. So what I'm going to do is see if I can capture this. Okay, so frame that up. Let's go back to Vectorworks. So we'll just minimize that one to the side. And when we're in Vectorworks, all we need to do is click Take Screenshot. So that's going to take us over to Enscape. We do get a second or two if we do want to just tweak the view there. Maybe I'll just move out a tiny bit to get the whole model in. And just pan it across. Good. Very happy. Click OK. And you see the kind of level of difference of quality. Vectorworks has got really nice OpenGL with the lines on and the sh maybe some shadows. That looks cool, but Enscape, really realistic. And again, you know, you do have this lovely ability to sort of swap through the times. Okay, so here we are back in Vectorworks, and I'm looking at this Vectorworks model in essentially top plan view. I really just want to show you how to render nice floor plans in Enscape, so it's really straightforward. Um, you might just want to do a bit of tweaking on the lighting, so, you know, you can see those sort of shadow studies through the day. I mean, even that in, is super useful, actually. You can, what you can see is that early in the morning, the design gets some beautiful sunshine. Because um, it is kind of north-facing, actually, most of the sunshine comes in uh, through the things like the roof lights. Let's just go for that middle of the day look. And we'll go to visual settings. Let's just double check where we're capturing to. Yes, we're in the right folder, so that's fine. Let's just go for take screenshot. You can do a bit of zooming in. Um, so before I kind of do that view there, let's just maximize the, the view a bit more. It's not the best sort of resolution image, or should we say proportion, but that's fine. Let's click OK and render that one out. And it should only take a few seconds. So the fact is, um, you can do really nice rendered floor plans using Enscape. Okay, so I've been doing a little bit more work on my model um, in Vectorworks using the Enscape assets. What I've done is created a layer for the Enscape assets. So I'm just going to turn that one on. And you can see I've added quite a few different sort of props and things from the library. Now, they can take a little while to add, but they do look really nice once we get over to Enscape. So all I'm going to do now is go to my Save Views and access one of my save views. You can see the save view was created at a time when the Enscape layer was off. So what I'm going to do is just turn that layer on and let's just re-click the save view to update it this time. So I think this is the living room, that kitchen view. Let's just click update, redefine rather. Um, so that's now saved. So let's go over to Enscape and let's just minimize our Vectorworks model there and let's maximize our Enscape screen. So you can see the difference in terms of the sort of quality of you know rendering you're going to get with Enscape. The assets are very, very nice. They're very high quality. Um, and the beauty is being able to add these natively in Vectorworks now is a real, real treat, actually. So I like the look of that visual. It's quite nice. I could do a bit more work on it. Um, but let's just go ahead and render that one out. So let's just minimize that to the side of the screen. Let's go to Take Screenshot and see how long this takes to render. Shouldn't take too long. Again, I've got the option to refine if I need to. Let's just go ahead right away and click. It's actually a really nice little view. And render that one out. Good. Okay, so you've seen how managing Enscape assets, uh, either using classes or I prefer a bit of both, layers sometimes, and classes as well, is a really good thing to do in Vectorworks, as is the save views. Um, I do find setting up save views in Vectorworks really accurate, really easy, and straightforward. So that one's rendered out now. Let's go to my next save view. <clears throat> In fact, I can do it from down here. Just let that finish rendering. There we go, nearly done. 
but these are high quality these are you know high resolution images you see the kind of lighting that we're getting even on the preview really really excellent okay so let's go and jump over to my uh, living room I'll just double click onto that view to access that camera view very very nice I won't even bother putting it in full screen I'm just going to go to take screenshot and render that one out um, got the final opportunity if I want to let's just sort of tweak that view ever so slightly but let's just to show you click OK and render that one out so you do need a pretty powerful computer um, as you can see I've got um, a, quite a good PC here with a decent graphics card if I have a quick look at the, the settings on my cam let's go through you can see the GPU is doing pretty much all the rendering work and this is the kind of system spec that I'm running it's a GeForce RTX 2080 Ti which about a year ago when I bought the uh, computer and the card was one of the best you could buy now we've got the 3080 uh, which is a lot better value um, and really kind of even more powerful so you know good graphics card is the key let's minimize that that one's done so I'd like to show you how to actually set a little animation up with this one um, it's really really straightforward all we need to do is click H to hide the uh, model here and let's click K to bring up the screenshot so now what we need to do we've got our animator we'll click add keyframe we'll move forward a bit here and we'll add another keyframe just two nice frames I can see that the endscape assets are missing at the moment let's let's actually go back to our save views just because I'd quite like to kind of keep that now and let's right click in vector it's redefine brilliant back to Enscape over on this other screen or other window if you prefer and let's just preview the view now look at the difference now if I kind of preview it now from the beginning with all the lovely Enscape furniture in I mean in real time rendering absolutely phenomenal rendering and this will be even higher quality kind of once we get towards the end um, so the good thing is you can kind of spot you know all the glitches and things that you need to do in your Vectorworks model but I'm pretty happy with this so I'm going to go and render this one out and have a look at the final results in a minute. Thank you. 